Hey guys, David G back again, here to bring you another video. This one's gonna be doing Legend Spotlight Episode 2. Macho Man Randy Savage. Now, the Macho Man Randy Savage was big during the late 80s to early 90s. At WrestleMania 3, he went against he was in, going in as intercontinental champion against Ricky the Dragon Steamboat in one of the greatest WrestleMania matches of all time. Now it is called that because there was some awesome spots in that match. And Ricky Steamboat walked out as champion, but Macho Man left in a good way. He is also the WrestleMania 4 WWF Championship title, R WrestleMania 4 um, tournament winner. Now, speaking of the WWF title tournament at WrestleMania 4, um, the Macho Man won last defeating Ted DiBiase, the Million Dollar Man, which I spoke of yesterday, during which the Mega Powers were formed. I'll repeat myself though. The Mega Powers were formed because Hulk Hogan came to help, came to kick Andre the Giant's ass for Randy Savage. Because Randy Savage was interfering, because Andre the Giant was interfering in that match, and Randy Savage was probably not going to win. And that's how the Mega Powers were formed. Now at WrestleMania 5, the Mega Powers went poof and exploded. And unfortunately, Macho Man Randy Savage lost the, that match. He should have been the one who won that match. At WrestleMania 7, he had a match with none other than the other number two guy in the WWF at the time, the Ultimate Warrior. Now, their match at WrestleMania 7 was supposed to be a retirement match. Neither man retired after... Ultimate Warrior won that match. It's kind of funny. Not really. But it is. At WrestleMania 8, Ric Flair once again main evented against Ric Flair. Now, I'm just saying here, that spot, I agree with most other people, that spot should have been given to Hogan. Because two top wrestlers at that time were in the same company. And the WWF decides to put Hulk Hogan against Psycho Sid. Or putting Hulk Hogan with Ric Flair. Uh, I guess, well, they did have a good match. And a good story leading up to it, though. After that match, Randy Savage became a color commentator, which I believe he was uncomfortable with. That's why he left WWF for WCW. And he never returned to WWE. Sadly, 
very sadly. In 2015, this year, he was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. My final thoughts on Randy Savage. It is sad how he died. Car crash. Not car crash, but he had a heart attack at the steering wheel. And he passed away. Unfortunately. That saddened me when I first heard he died. And I hope that him and the Ultimate Warrior are having a Wrestlemania 7 rematch somewhere up above. So now... Ooh yeah! Macho Man is gathering momentum! That's it for today, guys. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe.